Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of July. So you may be watching this in June, but this is for July. And I get comments from people that from the re most recent readings I've done for July. This isn't for me. <laughs> July hasn't happened yet. So keep that in mind, because this is something that is coming up. Could happen at any moment in July. When you watch it, it may not resonate. This is a preview. Don't think that it can't happen to you. Let's get started. What do we have for Leo for July? What do we have for Leo for July? Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Ooh. Indecision. You're at a crossroads, right? You're at a crossroads and you need to make a decision. And I feel like you have been unable to make a decision. It came out reversed. Okay, did come out reversed, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. Okay, this is like an oracle card, so we're gonna we're gonna put it upright. But it did come out reversed. It's pretty much it's kind of the same meaning, except for when it <coughs> excuse me, a card comes out in reversed. It's an extreme, or there's an absence. Okay, so you've been extremely indecisive. Okay. You, this is needing to make a split moment decision, okay? So you will probably be making a split second, split moment decision. You're you're at this uh, crossroads, or you're at this uh, boulder in the middle of the road, and you have to make a decision right now. There's people behind you. They're honking the horn. They're telling you which way to go. This is just an example, okay? So you you're you're like, oh shit! So you're gonna have to make a decision. And you're gonna, it's going to be a split second decision, okay, this month, okay? And you notice the card, the card fell out. It, it came flying out. So it is definitely all of a sudden you're going to be put in a situation where you have to make a, plit, a split second decision. It, I do believe that you, this is indecision. So you have, this is something you may have been avoiding, Okay, you've been maybe in the back of your head or somewhere in the area, some area of your life. You've been procrastinating or something. But, if, you know, the universe has a way of making you choose, okay, when you procrastinate for too long. Or you don't follow through with something or whatever the case is. You have two paths. You have two options. And you're going to be forced to make a split second decision and that is what we have here so what do we have for Leo it's messy it is messy whatever this is and there's one one more please oh there it is so what do we have for Leo? The last card is the one that flew out. Ooh, broken ring. Parting of ways, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So there's gonna be parting of the ways. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. Congratulations, that's a blessing, right? Ego, triumph over troubles and obstacles. So this is a victory. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. This is the one that flew out. So you are going to be protected. You are going to be protected. So everything turns out as it should. I think that you um, are going to be victorious over something. Um, whatever has been happening that has been so difficult, it's going to end this month. It has to do with a romance or a business, okay, or a partnership of some sort. 
So there's going to be a parting of ways. This is a blessing. The rainbow is a blessing. It really is. After the storm. The storm is over. Okay? It really is. The storm is over. Um, you will be victorious. And you are protected. So you really don't have much to worry about by the looks of things. Um... But there is some sort of indecision, and the decision is going to be made. The lovers, a choice between two, and there's a choice between two here as well. So there is going to be a decision that is made. Okay, there is a decision about romance. Okay, and it, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. I think, and I almost feel like the decision is going to be made for you. I do. I feel like, or you're forced to make the decision right now. That's what I feel like this is. And with the broken ring, it, there, I feel like it's a separation. Okay, some, it, I mean, that looks like a, a parting of the ways. Okay, it's a separation with a, somebody. So somebody may be, and that's why I feel like it's really forced, which is interesting. Now, um... This is a new contract. Somebody is coming together with a soulmate. And it may not be you. It could be the person that you are asking about. Okay? This is a soulmate connection. Um, there's consequences. It's a choice. Somebody is making a choice that they have been unclear about. And it does have to do with parting of ways. That's the truth. Okay? I know a lot of people don't want to believe that. They don't want to hear that. But that is the truth. Okay? Um, the fool starting fresh starting from scratch leaving it all behind going your own way you this is this is like an exciting opportunity for a new adventure this is freedom death Death. Now these three cards are majors. The universe is in control. I'm telling you what. The universe is in control. It is. These are all major cards. This means the universe has something in store for you. Okay? They could even be bringing you somebody new. Okay? This could be a new uh, beginning here. Endings lead to new beginnings. Okay? So this is the death of a situation, a separation, or a loss that leads to a new beginning in love. So, the, you know, there, there is a new beginning here after something dies. I mean, that's, that's the truth. That's the reality of it. This is a healing love, okay? This is uh, somebody probably bursting into your life that is very exciting, there's, this is this is exciting. It's an exciting new beginning with somebody that you are very well matched up for. Okay, this is a perfect match. But this perfect match doesn't come until after a death of something. That is the truth. And I know a lot of people don't want to, they don't want to hear that. But that's, a, that's, death is reality. Anyhow, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is on the bottom. This is an unpredictable, horrendous loss. Okay. That is, that is, uh, there's been a delay. There's been a delay. Somebody has been stopping their new life. They've been stopping their new chapter. They've been putting their, their, their foot in the wheel. It's like the wheel has been trying to spin. They have tried to been, been trying to bring you something good, but you haven't been allowing it. You've been clinging to control, wanting to control, you know, whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Accepting what it was meant to be is hard to do. Okay. So anyway, uh, and this is another major card. So somebody has been fighting destiny. They've been fighting uh, ending a chapter in their life. They've been holding on to the past. And it's like the universe, because we got four universe cards here, is saying, oh, no, 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 you're going to leave this behind and you're going to start fresh. We have a perfect match for you. That's over. It's done. It's done. So there is going to be an ending this month. There is. There's going to be a parting of ways, okay, that gives you the freedom to start fresh with a new partner that is perfect for you, okay? There's a perfect match here with the lover's card. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune reversed is delays and setbacks. And there's been delays and set setbacks because free will does play a part. So you've been, you've been delaying your own success, okay, 
by not allowing change, by being indecisive, by not making, going down the new path. Oh, nine of swords. Now there's a lot of uh, regrets here. Somebody has a lot of regrets. There's sadness. Uh, oh my God, oh my God, how could this happen? So there could be, there could be some sort of, um, oh, this Nine of Swords looks very um, sad. This is sadness. I can't believe it. I, this is so embarrassing. I, you know, something is embarrassing to you and I, and I feel like there's a, a level of uh, despair, um, sadness. Okay, there's a level of sadness here. Justice. Now, justice is, when the justice comes out upright, this is karma. The laws of karma turned, everything is turned out as it should. There's consequences. I think there's, there's, there's sadness over a legal decision or over some sort of karma that was delivered. Okay. There's some sort of regret. Somebody's not happy with the outcome, but everything turned out as it should. You know, justice and karma have no toleration for lies. It's like you can't get away with it. This the meaning of justice. Somebody can't get away with it. And there's some sort of uh, feelings of regret for trying to get away with something. Now, justice is making the decision. Being honest. This is this there could be some upcoming legal issues this month as well. This is about being honest and truthful. You know, karma has no toleration for lies. Neither does the justice system. There is some sort of regrets. There's some sort of regrets. Um Two of Cups reversed. This is a detachment. A detachment to a cup's reverse from a partner or a union. It's a breakup. It's a split. Everything has turned out as it should. There's been some sort of separation that has caused somebody a lot of despair. This is an opportunity for you to be free. Accept the ending. Accept it. You need to accept. You do. Leave it behind you. Stop crying about it. Stop uh, wallowing. Stop worrying about it. Everything has turned out as it should. We have an individual that is uh, having a hard time getting over a separation when everything has turned out as it should. Let it go. Now, the, this is the fool is let it go. This is this is freedom. This is a new phase. Oh my God! Now this is starting a new life. It really is with the death, the the fool, and the chariot. These are both cards of transformation, traveling to a new destination, taking a journey, starting over, starting starting, and you are headed right towards a soulmate. That is a soulmate connection. Endings lead to new beginnings. Everything happens for a reason. So anyway, Leo, I feel like is in July, you are going to be moving forward very, very quickly towards victory, towards success. You're in the driver's seat. You're in control of your emotions. You're in the lead. Okay, you're, you're headed towards, I mean, this is true love, right? It is. But it's after a death, okay? Because a death is a death. A death is an ending. Which leads to a new beginning. So there's an ending here that leads to a new beginning. Okay. Um, this is determined to succeed. You could also have somebody coming into your life all of a sudden. Okay. This is could be a, like a, 
uh, you run into somebody, okay? This is this is a sudden meetup, okay? All of a sudden with these two cards. And this is unexpected as well. You could all of a sudden run into somebody that is a perfect match. I feel like the ending is with um, somebody that caused you a lot of grief, that's for sure. Somebody that you weren't um, compatible with. There's lack of compatibility here. You just weren't compatible with this person. Anyway, we have the beginning of a new life. Moving. Some of you are going to be moving. You're going to be taking a journey. You may be traveling or somebody may be traveling to you. Moving to a new place where you're going to meet this person. You're going to come together with this person. There's definitely a separation. I know people don't want to hear it, but there absolutely is with the death card. So I I just need to let you know, we have fantasy land is, is not real. Okay. So we do have a major, and it is major because we have a lot of major cards here. This is a profound life change for you this month. Your life is about to change for the better. It is. Because this separation that happened, happened for a reason. Everything turned out as it should. And you need to stop focusing on this separation with whoever this person is that you were not compatible with. There's a new beginning here. It's exciting. This is taking an adventure. Moving or traveling is pretty prominent here as well. King of Pentacles. Death. King of Pentacles. So this is the end. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But that's an ending. Could be a Scorpio. Okay. Could be a Cancer. Could be an Aries. Could be a Gemini. Either way. We have somebody here that is, uh, they may be turning their back on you because this back is turned. Um, this person is focused on stability and security, uh, building themselves up. This is, you may also have this person coming in, but it feels like there's a Cancer or a, a Scorpio coming in. A Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries that is coming into your life. That's what I feel. Cancer, Scorpio, or Aries. I feel like this person is going in the other direction. This is the angel of death. This guy even has wings on. You're gonna you are going to be coming together with somebody that is a perfect match for you. You're gonna be broken free from a toxic, unhealthy situation where you may have been in it just for the stability of it. Just just because it looked good. Ooh, Four of Cups reversed. Now it's the end of stagnation. Seizing a new opportunity. And it could be this person that is seizing a new op. And I, and I feel that very strongly as well. Somebody may be making the decision for you. That you could be dealing with somebody that you ended a partnership with that has made a decision to move forward. Okay. I don't know, but there is definitely a connection here. A new, this is a new connection, okay? We have a new love connection here that is blossoming. And, it, and, and it's growing very, very fast, put it that way. Four of Cups reverse is seizing a new opportunity because there's no connection here. Now, justice is about getting what you deserve. So I feel as though there's been some sort of uh, immature behavior. We have an individual that, you know, uh, wanted to have it all. Okay, just turn this up right so you can see it. This guy is a big baby. It's a big, big, big baby. So you were dealing with a big baby um, that wanted to have it all, that uh, never was happy anyway, was just a big pain in your butt. So this big baby, there's a separation from this big baby. Okay, there is. It doesn't have to be a guy. It could be a girl. There's a separation from this person that has made caused you so much stress. This person has caused you so much stress. 
I feel as though you're moving. You're literally moving. Some of you are moving. You could be moving to another place, moving to another state, moving to another location. You're moving. I feel as though you're going to be focusing on your dime. You're going to be focusing on your money. You're going to be realistic. You're going to be building up. Maybe you're building up a business or you're going to be working with somebody that is very business oriented or you're going to be very business oriented this month. This is part of your new plan. It's part of your new life. I feel like you are maybe you're planning an escape. You're planning a new life right now. I feel as though you are going to be letting go. You're going to be making a decision that you have been reluctant to make to uh, go in a new direction and leave all that crap behind. Okay, I think you're about ready to drop the baggage or the burden that you have been holding on to and you're going to be moving in a new direction towards victory, towards success. You're leaving it in the wind. It's like that's behind me now and I am not looking back. And you are headed towards something more in alignment with your values, more in alignment with you. You are going to be connecting with somebody that um, has the same values as you, okay? Deepening a bond with this person. Um, it's either a Cancer, a Scorpio, or an Aries by the looks of things. I feel like you're going to be really focused on your business and building up your, your financial security. Um... You're going to not be uh, worried like you have about this connection that didn't work out. I see you letting it go. I see you letting it go, getting getting over this, this, this patch and moving in a very positive direction. Okay, this is uh, willpower. You know, finding that willpower and that mental strength to succeed. And and I think that you're going to have it this month. I think that you're going to be very successful. You're going to have a successful month of, of uh, taking back control. Taking back control of your emotions. You're going to be making the decision that you're ready to leave all this crap behind and start fresh. You're letting it go. And I do see that there is a soulmate that is you are going to be coming together with in the very near future. And it could be this month. And if you do come together with this person this month, if you are, have not met them yet, it has to do with a vehicle. I think it has to do with some sort of vehicle. Maybe you run into them or you meet, or even when you, you're at the store, you're carrying groceries out or something like that. Um, it could definitely be at the store. Um... You could even be asked out to dinner by somebody. But I do see you detaching from somebody that really caused you a lot of stress. And that's your death. That's your ending. Okay? And coming together with a perfect match. Uh, so if you are with this person already, you may be uh, moving forward with that person. Um, if you already know who this person is. Um, but I do see you officially detaching from... Uh, somebody that really caused you a lot of, uh, it was a karmic partner, caused you a lot of stress. Good luck.